I'm Danny Epperson, and I'm inside the ornate Commodore Dinner Theater in downtown Portsmouth. Thanks for joining me for WHRO's Cinema 15 and our presentation of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. When Kung Fu fans are looking for a martial arts film fix, they don't usually tune in to public television. But I promise you that Ang Lee's 2000 masterpiece is not your typical martial arts movie. Even film guru Roger Ebert was humbled. He wrote, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon transcends its origins and becomes one of a kind. It's glorious, unashamed escapism and surprisingly touching at the same time. By the end of the 1990s, director Ang Lee had made seven films and was primarily known for making movies about manners. His first English language film, Sense and Sensibility, was an Academy Award winning adaptation of a Jane Austen romance novel. But Ang Lee had always wanted to make a martial arts movie and one like the magical martial arts books he read as a boy. He wanted a story about ancient Chinese heroes and warriors who lived by a code of honor. He found it when he read Wang Dulu's novel Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon in 1994. The book is the fourth in the Crane Iron series, which chronicles four generations of martial arts masters. The movie Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon is set in 18th century Qing Dynasty China. Two martial arts legends reunite to retrieve a stolen sword and battle a mysterious young warrior whom they believe has the lost weapon. Chow Young Fat plays Li Mu Bai, a master sword fighter. Michelle Yeoh plays Yu Su Lian, the owner of a private security agency. And Zhang Su Yi plays Jin Yu, the precocious daughter of a Manchurian governor. Chow Young Fat was already one of the biggest stars in Asia before he came to Hollywood in 1995. He'd received critical acclaim after co-starring with Jodie Foster in 1999's Anna and the King a dramatic remake of The King and I. Michelle Yeoh was an established action star in Hong Kong and gained fans in the US after fighting alongside Pierce Brosnan as James Bond in Tomorrow Never Die. And this was the first major role for 21-year-old newcomer Zhang Su Yi. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon was nominated for 10 Academy Awards and won four Oscars at the 2001 ceremony. It was the only martial arts film to date to be nominated for Best Picture. Ang Lee, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Ang Lee's film also held the record for the most nominations for a foreign language picture until the Spanish language movie Roma tied it in 2019. I'll be back after the film to talk about the secret crane fighting style that helped Ang Lee take the action to new heights. But for now, hit the lights, kick up your feet, punch up the volume, enjoy Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Almost 20 years later, this film still takes my breath away. I can't get enough of those incredible fight sequences that blend martial arts and magic. On screen, the actors seem to fly effortlessly across rooftops and through trees, but getting the rhythm and realism right was tough on everyone involved. Ang Lee hired legendary fight choreographer and director Yuen Wo Ping to bring his vision to life. In Hong Kong, Wo Ping's kung fu films helped turn Jet Li and Jackie Chan into international superstars. His work in Hollywood includes designing unforgettable fight sequences for The Matrix and Kill Bill. <laughs> One of the most graceful and stunning battles in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon happens 60 feet up in a bamboo forest. Most remarkable is that no computer-generated effects were used. Ang Lee suspended his actors by wires from construction cranes. Those wires were digitally removed later, but for take after take, the actors had to remember their lines, swing their swords and keep their cool while dangling six stories up in the treetops. Chow Young Fat said that the bamboo forest fight was one of the toughest scenes he'd ever had to act. Even Michelle Yeoh, known for doing her own stunts, was put to the test. During the first action sequence, she tore her ACL and had to have knee surgery. 
After months of rehab, she finished the movie wearing a leg brace. Yo reprised her role for the sequel, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny, which was released on Netflix in 2016. Most recently, Yo went boldly into the latest Star Trek venture, Discovery, as Captain Philippa Giorgio. Starfleet doesn't fire first. That's all, number one. That's all I have for this week. I'm Danny Epperson, and I'll see you next time for WHRO's Cinema 15 and another classic movie. Almost 20 years later, this film still takes my breath away. I can't get enough of those incredible fight sequences that blend martial arts and magic. On screen, the actors seem to fly effortlessly across rooftops and through trees, but getting the rhythm and realism right was tough on everyone involved. Ang Lee hired legendary fight choreographer and director Yuen Wo Ping to bring his vision to life. In Hong Kong, Wo Ping's kung fu films helped turn Jet Li and Jackie Chan into international superstars. His work in Hollywood includes designing unforgettable fight sequences for The Matrix and Kill Bill. One of the most graceful and stunning battles in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon happens 60 feet up in a bamboo forest. Most remarkable is that no computer-generated effects were used. Ang Lee suspended his actors by wires from construction cranes. Those wires were digitally removed later, but for take after take, the actors had to remember their lines, swing their swords, and keep their cool while dangling six stories up in the treetops. Chow Young Fat said that the bamboo forest fight was one of the toughest scenes he'd ever had to act. Even Michelle Yeoh, known for doing her own stunts, was put to the test. During the first action sequence, she tore her ACL and had to have knee surgery. After months of rehab, she finished the movie wearing a leg brace. Yo reprised her role for the sequel, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny, which was released on Netflix in 2016. Most recently, Yo went boldly into the latest Star Trek venture, Discovery, as Captain Philippa Giorgio. Starfleet doesn't fire first. That's all, number one. That's all I have for this week. I'm Danny Epperson, and I'll see you next time for WHRO's Cinema 15 and another classic movie.